Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome for our final session of the day, which is our pitch, final pitches. And this is what's, I'm sure, the most exciting for everybody here who's worked hard or who's worked hard in the past and working on their projects. So I uh, really appreciate, uh, you know, all the work and uh, this, this is, this is it. This is kind of the fun part of the event. Um, so uh, just a, some ground rules. Uh, we're going to be very strict on time. It's three minutes and three minutes only. I'll, I'll have a timer. And this time it's a really hard stop, just like the previous hackathons. The judges will also have a hard stop at three minutes in terms of questions or for questions. Uh, and so we could get through all the companies uh, as um, kind of on time. So uh, let me see. So we do have a list, uh, an order of who's going to be pitching. I'm going to put that in. Uh, let me see. I'm going to put this in the chat window. If you guys have any questions, please go ahead and uh, put that on the chat window on the side. But let me see. And, and just to double check, you guys can hear me, right? Okay, great. <laughs> Just always got to double check when I hear some silence. <laughs> so, all right, awesome. So, uh, so that's the list of companies that are going to be presenting today. Three minutes hard stop. I know I see Mark here, who's the first one. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite him in uh, just so that he can set up. And uh, so, you know, as they say in the EOS hackathons, come on down. <laughs> Mark from a tip it.io let's uh let's invite him okay so let me let me see there's a little bit of technical difficulty mark <laughs> do you are you on chrome by any chance okay there you go i think uh sorry uh i think i was hovering over the wrong one. So I think there was another, uh, there was another Mark stare. I think you're logged in with another kind of computer, so. Very possible. Hello everyone. <laughs> hey, how's uh, it going Mark? Can everyone hear me okay? Yeah, so so let's let's make sure uh, your, your setup is okay. And then, and then, you know, we'll give you a little bit of time to just get the setup uh, ready. And then uh, are you going to be screen sharing like last time? I think yeah. you is that so, happening yet? Let's see. Um, oh yeah, I got to do. Oh yeah, here. Yeah, where the hell is that? Hold on. Seemed easier last time. Let's see. Yeah, so you had to hover over uh, <laughs> yeah. the, your video capture. Is my profile no joined events? Wait. Oh yeah, just your video uh, video capture. This is good for everybody because everyone's got to find it. Oh, like, there it is. Jesus, not easy. Okay. Make okay. sure that's working. Okay. Justin says, good luck. All right. And then, um, all right. Can you see this screen too? Yeah. Yeah. Looks good. Okay. So, so I'm going to, I'm going to put my timer on and, uh, just as an FYI, just again, um, what we're going to do is once you're done after three minutes, a hard stop, we're gonna give one minute of a, a, a break to, to bring in a couple of judges and we're gonna rotate a couple of judges in um, uh, you know each presentation. So, um, and then I have a timer here. So if you ever wanna, I know you have to look at your uh, presentation, but every occasionally, maybe if you wanna, I'll, I'll, I'll have this kind of, occasionally I'll put up the time <laughs> if you wanna take a look at it. So no worries. I'm going to make it. Okay, cool. All right. It's see. All right. Sounds good. So, um, so let's, uh, just tell me when you're ready and then I'll, I'll start. All right. I'm ready. Let's go. All right. Okay. I, I put a poll down there too. So take, take a look at that. Everyone. Uh, I'm going to talk about tip it a very simple tipping and token sharing application on pro popular social platforms. So I want to put it in perspective of crypto versus even internet users, not even all the people in the world. Uh, you see that this little slice is crypto users and this little slice within the little slice is EOS. Crypto today is too scary, too complex and mainstream media really uh, bashes it as much as they can. <clears throat> 
So we're creating Tippet.io on Discord, starting with Discord. We want it to be super, super simple, fun, easy, and the sharing and giving uh, capability, kind of like the PayPal of EOS. We're going to have very simple commands. And uh, if you want to join our discussion, I can share that in the chat as well so you can get on board on this. OK, so I'm going to give a little demo here. OK. And here's our here's my Discord channel. Hopefully it's running. Come on. It, okay. So uh, here, oh, geez. So no, can you give me an extra 30 seconds? Somehow my. Okay. All right. So within here, I can uh, check my balance. So this is the balance within the system. I can send uh, tokens. I'll go ahead and send to our stair. Uh, 0 0.1 EO. Check name. So I want this name here. And it says, oh, that's already taken. So maybe I'll try a different name. That one doesn't exist. So um, I can also do a deposit. Uh, this is where you send money into the system, and it's going to give me a private link. So here's my two. And my deposit, you can scatter and all that stuff. Okay. Uh, so that Okay, so it's transparent on the blockchain. We're holding it for people, so they don't even need their own EOS account. Uh, our business model is 1% withdrawal fee. We'll also be able to do advertising, a, uh, apps and games, and uh, premium subscription options as well. We're also considering a tip token model. If you're interested or uh, get involved and know about economics, please let us know. Okay. We plan to go deep with features uh, and also wide on different social platforms, not lots of different features. There's our team and there's the poll. Anyone, I'll wait till later to give the answer. Awesome. Hey, thank, thanks right. a lot. Uh, great job. Great job. Just got it uh, in, in three minutes. So, uh, so we'll give a minute for people, uh, all the, um, uh, let me bring in the judges. So let me just bring in uh, the last two here for uh, Justin and Brandon here. So we're going to uh, just bring in the judges here. I'm going to uh, um, get them here to ask a couple uh, questions. And we're going to also time this once everybody's ready. But we'll, 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 we'll give a minute for the setup here. So we got Justin here. Uh, oh, Brandon. Let me get Alicia here to see uh, instead here. So... Yeah. So, um, uh, just to make sure, uh, we should check to make sure there's uh, only one Crowdcast window open on, on the computer, just because there's, uh, just for everybody as an FYI. Uh, so, make sh let's make sure there's uh, just one window open. Uh, so, okay. Cool. So, uh, let's, let's, um, is everybody ready? And then once we're ready, then we could start with the. We got three minutes to ask Mark here some questions, and uh, um, and then we'll just go from there. And if you know, if we if we under that time, we can just uh, you know stop early too. So, uh, is everybody ready? Are the judges ready? Okay, so let's start. Three minutes for questions. I'll go first then. Uh, so, Mark, uh, do users need to deposit money into the account for Tippet, or do they utilize their own account? Uh, only, only the tipper needs to put uh, money into the account initial initially. So if everybody in the EOS committee, uh, you know, community can contribute some money into the system, we can kind of prime the pump and get it going. That is the difficult part is getting the money into the system. But as soon as some, some people get some tips, they're going to get an EOS account and that's going to help our all, overall EOS network. Okay. Any other questions, uh, Justin or Alicia? Um, I'm having massive sound issues. Can you hear that? 
Yeah. So let me let me see. Um, do you have? Uh, so let, let's pause for a little bit just for tech tech difficulties. Uh, so uh, so as long as there's no other um, window open, do you have a headset by any chance? I do have a headset. Um, let me see. I can go get that. Just go ahead and ask your question. You're yeah, okay. I think right I'm now. okay right now. So I have a, f a few questions actually. So um, just to clarify, um, so basically each user has a wallet on Tippet. Is that correct? Right. We have a account called Tippet account, and each user is uh, associated with their uh, Discord account. So if you uh, look at mm -hmm. this block, for, oh, you can't see my screen, but um, we basically hold on on their behalf uh, with their Discord uh, username and things like that. Okay, got it. Uh, have you looked into competition? Oh, there's tons of competition and it goes along with my poll is uh, a lot of people are doing Ethereum and Bitcoin, but mm -hmm. I don't care about them because they're on the crap network. So uh, uh, we want to we want to get people on EOS, which actually works in the speed that they'll need. Um, what, what improvements do you want to make next to this uh, product? Yeah, we have a ton of ideas for this, uh, you know, APIs for games. So let's say you could like uh, uh, bang, you know, dice and roll dice with US bed or something like that. Um, we've got ideas for um, creating, allowing people with their own Discord channels to create their own tokens. And that's kind of a little service model as well as some premium options. Mm -hmm. And um, as I mentioned in the slide, if if we could figure out a good economic model around a token, like a tip token, uh, that would be another option that, that we're going to look into. How do you generate returns? How, oh, income, you yeah. mean? Yeah, uh, it's 1% uh, withdrawal fee. So they can accumulate tips all they want, send tips back and forth. But until they uh, actually withdraw, that's when we take uh, an additional 1% into uh, our tip. Why 1%? Just for four seconds. Got a better number? Tell me. All right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for the questions. And I know there were a couple other questions, unfortunately, we can get to, I think, uh, from the other judges. So if you want to answer those offline, uh, feel free to do that, uh, um, Mark. Okay. Yeah, sure. Ask questions in the poll and uh, chat. I'll be glad to answer them. Sounds Thanks. good. Take care. All right. So all right, that's a great first one to 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 go on. And uh, so we did it at three minutes each. And I think that was great. Uh, so. Uh, sorry, uh, Trey and Brandon. I think your question was similar to I think one of Alicia asked. So, um, so that one was good. Uh, but Trey, uh, if if Mark, if you can answer his question, so uh, we should get the next person on up. Uh, and uh, you guys can. Uh, I'll probably have to bump off uh, <laughs> you guys, and then we'll we'll start rotating people in. So, hey, thanks for the great questions, and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So. So, all right, we got the, our next one. Uh, open Secure Storage OSS is, uh, I think that was um, Alex. Is he here? Make sure Alex is here. Let, let me double check here. And then if not, we'll have to go to the next person, which uh, is Tandem. So, Tandem, we have uh, Andrew, or Andrew was here just a little earlier. So let me see what's going on here. He was just testing his equipment. I don't know if people know that we've already started. So let's let's go. Um, let, let me go uh, quickly message on the ch chat, but then we'll go to number four track record. So uh, Jenny here, I'll just invite. And if you guys can help me, maybe message in the general chat to, to make sure that uh, look for Alex Davis and also uh, Andrew from Tandem. They should be here, but uh, I don't see them live here on this on Crowdcast. So if someone can help me out, um, uh, just message them on Telegram. 
That'd be great. While uh, Jenny gets ready. Do I need a I need a Oh, okay. okay. All right. So let me make sure I, uh, I can get on the telegram. Uh, so. Uh, right. Okay, so let me say we are presenting right now. Uh, so the, I'm just uh, um, huh? yeah. So let me see. So is uh, did 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 you get your screen sharing okay? Uh, were you were you able to hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. All right. Oh, oh, great. Uh, uh, so. Uh, uh, you mentioned uh, which button should I push to share the screen? Yeah, it's, it's right on your video capture. There's this, uh, just hover uh, over and then there should be a little icon that says screen share. Oh. So let me, let me send a link to that too. So, uh, Oh, I saw it. Okay. All right. And it can, uh, I'm sure everyone can hear us still. Okay, cool. Hey everyone. Oh, so let me know uh, when you're gonna start, and then I'll, I'll just press the time. Uh, uh, I'm going to start. Okay. Hi everyone. When you just graduate, it's very hard to find your first job. When you switch a career, it's hard to find your first work. From an employer's perspective, finding a good employee is not easy either. So we are going to solve this problem with blockchain. I'm going to uh, lead you through this demo quickly. Then I will explain why we need a blockchain for this particular solution and what's the advantages. Here you can see, uh, let's say Anis is a new graduate. He want, she wants to work on machine learning and she could select machine learning. And this is pretty straightforward. And here you can see uh, the job description is a short, very short uh, time work and uh, with uh, compensation, the time she has to complete a job and the performance, key performance metrics, KPI. For this particular machine learning model, she needs to reach 80% accuracy. She could press accept job. Here you can see no job interviews, no contracts, nothing accept job here she could upload all her work in progress so her future employee can see uh, what's her thinking model and she also can, they can also see how she handles a feedback uh, this is what this mean uh, uh, after she finishes final if she finishes in the work she submits and can type all, uh, say, with all feedback incorporated and submit a uh, work. Uh, here, let me uh, mention to you uh, why this is important. First, I feel that the strength, strong advantage is any small transaction is fine. So we can start with, say, even ask people to clean some data. That's one of the first steps in machine learning. Uh, second advantage is people people in the companies can remain anonymous because many people do not want to people other see uh, these are the actual work related to their company. So this is the second benefit of blockchain. All we need is just a public key for each each entity. There are also a third advantage is we keep it showing the proof. We know this is the actual work the employee has done. And so that's the, and this is what uh, our group is doing, track a record. All right, thank you. Uh, so uh, as we set up, thanks for that uh, presentation. Oh, let's uh, invite in Trey here, we'll, we'll take a minute to set up and, and is Happy Money Man, is, is, is he gonna be able to get on here?
Hey, how's it going, Trey? Hey, I'm I'm good, thanks. And then I don't know if uh, Brandon is also getting on here. So as we set up, um, once everybody is set up with their uh, webcam and audio. Hey, how's it going, guys? Oh, hello. Uh, so all right, cool. So uh, whenever you guys are ready, uh, we can maybe say something. Make sure. Right. <laughs> right when you are there's a little bit of re reverb but it's it's okay so um okay so you guys uh all right i'm gonna start right now with questions any questions i i'll ask one um so i, I guess you said that the, one of the benefits of being on the blockchain is so that um you have the ability to have proof of ownership of work and that kind of thing so um and um, I'm looking at your deck and you said you also maintain anonymity and also the feasibility of small transactions. Um, that's interesting. So what is it that you're using the blockchain for then? Um, I saw that you, you've been submitting some form data. Is that going on the chain or is it mostly around identity and payment? Mm, great question. So we submitted everything. Uh, I know that's a lot of storage. <laughs> that's why uh, I also discussed it with the mentors group. Uh, if it, it, since all the work in progress is also uploaded, so in case it became expensive, we can store in AWS and just uh, compute a hash, store hash on blockchain in case cost is an issue. Any other questions, Brandon? Oh, what's the what's your um, monetization strategy? Mm. Great. So we want to take a small percentage of it, say 15%. Even with we support a small transactions with so that's why we want to use this percentage model. Uh, um, what's okay. the kind of go ahead? No, no, go ahead. No. <laughs> Oh, uh, my my question was going to be about how you plan to acquire users and uh, what that strategy looks like as far as getting the uh, people looking for jobs and then uh, doing the work. Great. Uh, so I, I have been volunteer hosting machine learning study groups for about six years. So I have a lot of users in my meetup group. And I find that people really want to, they want to work on real projects with no experience. Here, they can actually get paid. So I feel confident at getting you initial users. Okay, I have one last question. How, how would you handle disputes, either disputes of the work quality or maybe plagiarism or, or any kind of problems at all? Uh, great question. So we initially will focus uh, area I'm familiar with machine learning. Uh, it's easy for us to uh, verify the result. We can test the result, like how we well are you cleaning data automatically. In others, was the machine, the computer will be the judge to judge the quality. Okay, and then one last question about payment. What was it that you mentioned, stable coin or local currency? What's the payment approach? Uh, US as the payment. Okay. Yeah, we got uh, five seconds left. So there's a couple questions, uh, but if you can answer those, um, Kind of uh, uh, on the on the chat window after that that that'd be great. So the the um, there's a couple questions in the ask a question section. So you can go ahead and ask uh, answer those uh, kind of outside. So mm, thanks. All right, thanks a lot, Jenny. Uh, so uh, thanks a lot, judges too. Great questions. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, I, I wasn't able to get all the other questions, but you can go ahead and. Like when uh, you're you're pitching, you can ask, actually answer those questions after your your pitch session. So, um, so I'll I'll close the window. So thanks, guys. All right, we'll set it up for the next. Uh, so, uh, who else is here? Um, let me check. Uh, so I see Alex Davis and Andrew. Uh, now and then, so so let's go back to uh, two, which is uh, Alex Davis with uh, Open Secure Storage OSS. Um, and if you're your judges, um, 
uh, you know, you have the Excel file, you, you probably should be like, we have, um, you know, those that are kind of coming up to uh, ask questions are actually scoring uh, these. So just, <laughs> just as a reminder that it's, you know, better to score these kind of real time. Uh, I was going to, I was going to score too, but I'm going to actually <laughs> not since uh, I'm running this. So, um, so you guys, uh, like there's, you know, there's going to be four judges and we're going to take the average scores. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and, um, let me see, just go to the next person. If someone can say hello, uh, if you're, uh, Alex Davis or Andrew Bryan, whoever says hello first, I'll probably invite in. And then if, if, uh, okay. So Andrew, so Andrew is with Tandem. That's the team name, Tandem. Um, hey, how's it going, Andrew? Hey, how are you? Good, good. So uh, well, as you set up for screen share, um, uh, feel free to kind of get ready with that and just let me know and then we can start the timer. Uh, let me see. And everybody who's uh, on the waiting list, just say hello on the chat window so I can get ready to pull you guys in. Um. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Right. Also, can you hear me too? Yeah, you're you're uh, you're loud and clear. And so whenever you say ready, I'm gonna just start. Or, or ready, set, go. I guess, and I'll start. Ready, set, go. All right. Okay, so we are tandem. We're a DAC. So we want to be run by the community. We're a stable coin. We're building stable coin tech on EOS blockchain. USDM, that's the ticker of our stable coin. Um, we're a crypto collateral backed stable coin. And you guessed it, price is supposed to move in tandem with the US dollar. What is a crypto backed stable coin? Basically, post cryptos into an escrow and you could draw a stable coin against that, which is no problem if you have excess collateral, right? Uh, crypto is volatile. Uh, so sometimes we have this problem. No problem, just recap the system, right? Uh, that's the basic idea of what we're talking about here with the crypto backed stable coin. Um, other crypto backed projects, we like to ask a bunch of questions about them. Um, are they fully backed or more specifically something like show me your capital adequacy framework or do you have a financial engineering specification to go along with your your system um we believe that if the th first three questions you can't really answer or don't have like a basic framework um it's very difficult from a governance perspective when you have like distributed and large number of governors trying to come together on decisions um it's the same actual uh, thing about scalability um we feel like um if you don't have the basic framework nailed down scalability becomes something like um you know imposing artificial constraints because you don't know what you're doing you limit your uh, excuse me you limit your scale right so in, in with our tandem project we are trying to do the following items identify risk premia then we'll price the risk then we'll model the risk, then we'll transfer the risk. I'm just step through these really quick right here. Um, identify the risk premium. If you're gonna take a stable coin loan, what do you think? Is 2% like a decent rate? What about 10%? Well, we think there's a base, like a floor, what we call like the risk-free rate of crypto, if it exists, uh, plus a bunch of risk premium. Those risk premium we feel like are um, related to the riskiness of the borrower, riskiness of the collateral, um, possible catastrophic events, um, selling your failed debt if it happens into the markets, and a tenor related to the length of time of the, of the borrowings. So now we price these risks. Um, we're talking about 15 seconds. How many? 15. Okay. So anyway, we price all of these risks, and then we model the risks, and then we transfer the risks. Here at Canada, we're looking at the crypto uh credit score and today we basically did the following we added some items to our multi-index table to 
get a measurement of what usage looks like for a person. All right, uh, uh, all right Andrew, sorry, uh, but uh, yeah, we ran out of time, but uh, you can answer yeah. the questions uh, with uh, our judges, so. Okay, great, and we have Anna, thanks. Okay, great, so um, let me uh, pull this, uh, let me go and get uh, Justin and then Alicia. And if anyone wants to ask questions from the judges, uh, oops, let me get this. And we'll take a minute to um, sorry, it's a little hard to invite people sometimes. <laughs> so uh, and uh, all right, Alicia. Cool. So, um, so we'll start the timer whenever you guys want, and uh, you know, whenever someone starts the first question, I'll I'll just click on this. So. Sure, I'll, I'll go ahead. Um, so, Andrew, I just wanted to give you a tiny bit more time to, like, yeah, tell us how this works exactly. Your stable coin compared uh, to something like Make a DAO. Yeah, well, we uh, we're, our fundamentals are uh, that we, we have a risk um, framework. Um, so we're, we're using like a solvency to um, risk based capital measure to actually say that, you know, you're backed within uh, this framework or not. Right. So we have three levels of, of backing, like the over collateralization is one. And then number two is um, <clears throat> basically um, Uh, sorry, the uh, so um, all right, so so the, the third layer is basically we have this uh, final, we call it a final reserve. So when fees are paid into the system, um, they get stored basically so that um, if the insurers themselves fail, then that's backup for them, right? And the second layer is the insurers, I didn't mention that, but it's basically um, people post cryptos into the system and so if somebody's loan fails it just grabs um their collateral to recap the system i don't know if that's clear but there are three uh, three pieces so when i saw <laughs> this i generally saw a lot of complexity um yeah. so who is benefiting from this and how like the primary target yeah. groups yeah, well, basically, if you have like a, a wallet with like, say, 100 coins in there or something, you can basically um, spend against the, the value of the collaterals. Like you you could just automatically um, indicate that you want this set of coins um, to be able to use, be used as collateral to borrow stable coin against, right? So you, you can basically um, draw the, the stable coin at will against your, your wallet and then if you're not a borrower, you can just indicate that you want your coins to be used as insurance collateral to the system. And so you'd be earning a, a fee, right? The, the borrowers are paying an insurance fee, basically, um, so that if they're catastrophic, catastrophic, you know, price events, then the insurers will basically um, receive this premium and bail out the system when necessary. Why, why did you choose EOS? For this, this uh, all of the limitations of uh, of Ethereum, I don't I don't think that's um, scalable at all. You know, um, you know, basically having to pay fees with every click just isn't going to work. So that that's really the primary. More questions from your side, Justin, or have you built the smart contract? Or right, sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry, guys. So. Yeah, uh, yeah. So great uh, answers and questions, and uh, yeah, this is you know this, the time limit's always a, a you know hard thing to kind of get um, yeah. in. So, but a great job, uh, and hope 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 uh, you know uh, more progress to you in the coming weeks and months. So, thanks a lot, Andrew. Okay. Thanks a lot, Alicia, thanks, and Justin. Uh, see you guys. Okay, bye, guys. All right, take care. Yeah. So. All right, so so that was that was great. Uh, we got three teams already. Uh, we are on team number uh, one. Uh, so we did tip, 
it and then track record and tandem. So uh, I think Rue, you're next. Uh, and I'm gonna invite you. Uh, and I don't know if Alex Davis is uh, available, but uh, he's on the list uh, at number two. And then after that, um, I should uh, check to see. Hey, how's it going, Rue? Hello, how are you doing, guys? Good, good. So I'll give you a minute to kind of have uh, your setup um, uh, ready and cool. the hackathon hats for good luck. Yeah, let me just bring this up. So, um, let me make sure that the other people are. Okay, can you guys see my screen? So let me see here. Yeah, it looks great. Uh, so let me get my timer ready. Mm -hmm. And uh, whenever you're ready, I'm going to just go ahead and click that timer here. And every, every once in a while, I'll put the phone up there if you need to see. Okay, let's do this. Commitment is wealth. That's our thesis. Did you know that 70% of Americans are overweight? Now, on 1st of January, most people actually want to save money and lose weight, but only 9% of those New Year's resolutions ever get achieved. Why so? I believe it's because enthusiasm is common, but commitment is rare. Now, I've been a personal trainer for more than 10 years, and that's why I know a thing or two about how this works when it comes to people's motivation. So in order to succeed, you have to put your money where your mouth is, and then you need to set some smart goals. You also need to measure your progress accurately. And you need to stay consistent through social accountability. And this is why we are building Challenge Coach. It is a decentralized platform for fitness coaches and practitioners. You can now get fit and get paid while supporting your friends. Now, it's built on the EOS blockchain, and we're using an escrow smart contract. Why blockchain? Because it's transparent. And also, we are eliminating transaction fees and automating manual processes such as payouts. Now, you can choose your time frame. You can select your stake for weight loss challenge. Those are the ones that we're starting first. And uh, you get a free training program and a weekly video chat from your coach. And uh, friends can also boost your stake if you choose to share it on social media, essentially making a bet on you or against you. And the coaches, they earn a reward, which is currently supposed to be 25%, but we will adjust that as we move forward. And they also build social proof on the network through testimonials and reviews. Now, we are currently about to launch our private beta. So by the end of the month, you should be able to see it. The global market for fitness industry is huge, and coaches, they need new ways to get paid. Now, when it comes to our competition, most people, they just go to their local gym or they use Google. And even though the hotel industry has been disrupted, the Airbnb of fitness is yet to be created. And I believe we are the ones to do it. Now, who are we? That's myself and my co-founder, Mohammed. So we started at the Hackathon in, um, in San Francisco. Our revenue model, now that's one thing that we made the most progress on this weekend so at first we only had this one uh, stream of revenue five percent from any challenge now we also figured how we're going to do enterprise offering and sponsored challenges like companies such as fitbit or others and another revenue stream is upselling insurance policies to protect Second. from loss in case of injury when you do your challenge we can also have paid features for the coaches essentially a SaaS business model comes into play as well such as certificate verification. We take commission from the marketplace once we build that feature and also partnerships with universities. So that's six revenue streams we've figured out. That's it, and thank you very much. Uh, sounds good, Rue. Uh, thank you. Uh, let me, uh, so let me uh, invite in people here. Great job. Um, let me see. Uh, we'll take a minute to set up here. And uh, and I hope judges, you guys are keeping 
score here as as we go along. I know it's always a little hard to if if you try to remember the the scoring. Um, uh, I guess are the teams if you if you're not scoring live here. So let me let me get Trey in here. Uh, it's always a little hard to invite people here um, when there's a lot. <laughs> How's it going, Ro? I'm good. How you doing? Good. Good to see you. Yep. You too, man. <clears throat> right. Hello. Okay, I got I got a timer. So you guys, whenever you ask the first question, I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer. So cool. Uh, it seems like there's a this this idea is kind of out there. There's a lot of companies working on it. Who do you think is the biggest competition, and what's your uh, unique sell and are you further ahead? So yeah, what's so that situation look like? There are only two apps on the regular app store. One is called Diet, but the other one is called Healthy Wage, and they use fiat payments and they take very high fees. And also, it's not an ecosystem. That's how we different. We actually thinking about the coaches, and if we make the coaches happy, enable them to do business online then they will make the clients happy in such way. And there's one project on the blockchain as well, it's called Limpo, but they don't have such a system. They are all over the place with their business model. And we just primarily focus on getting these challenges out there for New Year's resolutions at the moment. Um, <clears throat> sure, I have a question. So um, you mentioned a lot of the different business model potentials on the, on the last slide. Um, so, what's your first go to market like and who's your principal customer like who are you going to be selling to first like how do you gain how do you know when you're gaining traction and you've got you know customers on boarding who's yeah. who you selling to so that also ties into how we're different from the competition to apps that i mentioned they primarily focus on housewives and like elderly population where we actually are targeting millennials and people that are more tech savvy and of course, we're starting with crypto heads, and that's why we're building on EOS because my co-founder is deep within the ecosystem, and myself, I'm also getting there, and um, we just believe in the technology. So that's that's what we're doing. We're starting with the eco, EOS ecosystem as a DAP that people will actually be willing to use and that will benefit their lives. And I have a wide network of fitness influencers uh, within the industry, especially in London. That's why we're launching there and they will invite all their clients and followers and that's that's how we build traction and virality is also built within the product because people can invite their friends to support them or bet against them what's the um what's the main tokenomics issue that you're having to deal with or the main attack vector that you see because these social networks are kind of hard to build and, and monetize without getting taken advantage of what's the what's the biggest hurdle yeah, I'd say we we not really thinking about it at the moment because we cross that bridge when we get there. We're not doing a native token at the moment. We will eventually implement coach token uh, once we figure out the token uh, tokenomics. But for now, we're just using EOS, so we don't really need that. Okay, and one last question: Are you concerned about uh, onboarding users who don't know anything about crypto? <clears throat> Yes, we are. And that's why one of the advisors that I'm working with, he actually has, he's building a social media sort of uh, educational platform to teach regular people about crypto and the easy to understand language. So we'll work with them as well to eliminate that friction. All right. Great job, guys. Uh, great questions, all, like always, and great answers, Ru. So, um, all right. Uh, yeah. Uh, thanks a lot for participating here. Thanks so much. See you guys, Ru. All right, good job, guys. And sorry, uh, you know, there's some questions I know every once in a while on the on the uh, ask a question section, but it's it's a little hard to to get to. Uh, anybody else in the lineup here? Uh, we have uh, Alex Smith with Open Secure Storage. We haven't gone to Sagewise, Wolfpack, and fake news mint uh, the last two actually they sent me videos because the uh, one of them had internet issues so i can go ahead and do that and, and daniel with sagewise is here so let's just uh let's just get you on um daniel it'll be great so i'm gonna invite you in and we'll we'll give a, a minute for the setup hey how's it going daniel good 
So um, we'll give you a minute to set up. Um, if you have the Crowdcast set up and you've installed, um, you just have to hover over your video capture. And there should be some uh, icon that pops up right above your video capture, like on, <laughs> on your video. And I'm looking at the share. Is that the wrong? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's, uh, I forget, there's a share screen. If someone can help me out in the audience, too, I think there's some way you have to click a button to install the Chrome uh, screen share extension. Once you have that, then you go ahead and um, click on, on your video capture and an icon should pop up. Oh, this is rather confusing. I I went through the whole setup and it worked oh, fine, but now okay. So then 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 uh, Mark says something good. Try hovering above your face. Okay. Oh, yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I I try to I try to visually do it, but uh, but that's cool. You got it. That's great. So cool. okay. So let's see. Can you guys see the uh, Sendios uh, screen? Yeah, looks looks good. Great. Okay, so I'm ready. All right. Anytime, and I'll start. Okay. Now, uh, how many people would say creating and funding an EOS account is simple? Very few, I imagine. For the average user, they probably sooner toss their machine out the window. Hi, my name is Daniel Diva, and I'm one of the engineers at Sagewise. Our product simplifies EOS creation, account creation, and automatically funds your account in a guided step-by-step -step process. We call it Sendios. Sendios is a scalable viral payment and referral system for EOS. In its most basic form, it's PayPal for EOS, and you can send EOS to anyone just by typing their email address. The recipient will receive a claim key and a transaction ID that we look up to create an account for them and automatically fund it. But that's not all. Uh, we think the greatest amount of growth will come by partnering with dApps and creating a referral system where dApps can provide a Sendios link that lets users invite their friends, something like this. Uh, in fact, we're in the middle of adding this feature and we'll be launching it soon. We're talking to some of the most well-known dApps out there right now about Sendios. Right now, we generate revenue by collecting a fee of one EOS for creating and funding new accounts. We'll also be collecting referral fees from integrated platforms and apps. We also see a lot of opportunity to offer additional services to users as we onboard them to the EOS ecosystem. We are Sagewise and we are excited about having Sendios be a key part in accelerating adoption of EOS among mainstream users. So, oh, so you're done. Okay. Well, you got a, a minute uh, ten left. So, uh, you know, if you want to say anything extra for the last one minute, feel free. Oh, right. Um, so you can actually go to sendios.io to see our product uh, live. And what we worked on during the hackathon was uh, we wanted to get a couple of bug fixes with the UI. We also integrated Scatter, so you could uh, connect to your Scatter wallet. Um, and uh, those are the, the the main things that we worked on. Uh, awesome. I think uh, so. You still have 30 seconds. I don't know. <laughs> maybe you want to give a shout out. Uh, maybe I'll show you guys a little bit uh, a preview of what I got here. Uh, I don't know if you can see the screen now. I'm at Sendios. Can you see this? Yep. Okay. So, yeah, you can just type in somebody's email address. Um, we accept a minimum of two EOS and a maximum cap of 10. Uh, and that's partly because we're not interested in becoming a huge target. <laughs> um, our smart contract is deployed already, so that's in production. Um, and then you can type in your name in the event that uh, the other person doesn't claim it in time. Um, we refund it, no charges uh, at all. Um, the only charge that we do make is uh, if the- uh, All right, thanks a lot, Daniel. <laughs> you, you got, uh, yeah, you got- uh... Three minutes, so great presentation. Um, and I think, yeah, that was a great uh, kind of demo there. So let me um, get, uh, who who was it? Justin, I think, and Alicia again. So 
Uh, all right. Justin. All right. Not Justin. <laughs> Why? No, I mean, I'm not. Oh, okay. Just, okay. I'm not me, so. <laughs> I am not, not Justin. Okay. Cool. So yeah. Alicia, of course, and from Starfish and Incubios, and Justin from Blocksmith and Incubios. So, uh, whenever you guys start, I'm gonna put the timer on for three minutes. Oops. Let me let me double check. Let me get this. Up. Okay. So um so let me whenever you guys want to start, and I'll, I'll time. Ah, uh, you go first, Alicia. Okay. So it looks like you guys already built this. Which uh, we had started in uh, during the EOS uh, San Francisco Hackathon. Nice. Um, so what's your competitive advantage, given that it looks like this isn't that hard to build? Why is your team going to succeed? Right. So um, we're primarily interested in um, creating a seamless uh, experience for the user so that we're targeting mainly uh, the average user, people who don't really know anything about crypto. Um, and we wanna provide language and uh, a guided process to go through and actually receive EOS and use the dApps that they're interested in using. Um, yeah. Uh, sorry, go ahead, Alicia. No, no, you go ahead. Um, my question was, I've like totally forgotten what the question was. <laughs> I think it's really great though. I think it's it's really awesome. What what features would you add to this? Uh, we're actually working on um, the EOS links was another step. Um, we got our API key, um, I think uh, a day ago. So we're looking to integrate with that as well. Um, we're looking to partner with EOS links and uh, obviously we just finished Scatter. So I'll just rephrase my question then. So oh, sure. I hope I, I, I mean, I want to answer it correctly. I think everyone here thinks this is great. It's needed. Um, if it was ready to use, we'd use it because uh, we take all kinds of crypto payments. But um, basically, you guys just built this at the hackathon. You're making some bug fixes now. Um, what's going to prevent someone else from coming in and just doing the same thing? And then let's see, what's your market advantage here? Like what? Good versus uh, besides like being a bit earlier than the others, like what's your advantage? Yeah, that's a good point. I think one of our key advantages right now is uh, our CEO is talking with, uh, building relationships already with uh, the some of the dApps that, I won't mention them right now because it's still an early phase, um, but we have those relationships going. They're very much interested in what we have, um, but we need to have that, uh, you know, invite link uh, they really want to be able to see that on their dApps um, so that it can accelerate the number of users who use their dApp. Um, so we're very much, uh, that's very much a target right now that we're uh, currently working on. And we think that once we get that piece, we'll definitely be in a very good place, um, far away from the place that you had mentioned that, you know, someone can easily take our idea. Um, and then security, what are you doing to make this secure? Uh, so we have a smart contract deployed. Uh, we also have uh, a, um, a specific account that's only allowed access to that smart contract to be able to um, okay. send funds to a user and uh, allow um, uh, refunds. Okay, great, great job, guys. Uh, all right. Uh, so, and, and you know, again, uh, Daniel, if there's questions, I know there's an ask a question section below. So the judges uh, might have uh, want those answered uh, to kind of make uh, a better, uh, you know, uh, judgment about the score. So go ahead and answer those below. You can you can do that after this. So, um, okay. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, all right. <laughs> Take care. All right. So, um, so how are we on? So I know there's two people that sent me videos. So I'm gonna just go ahead and figure out how to play those. But anybody else doing it live and. And judges, you could determine, you know, I was like, okay, go ahead and do the video if there's some internet issue. Um, and just, you know, I'll I'll go ahead and play it for you guys. But you guys go go ahead and make your determination of, like, if you want to give extra points for people who uh, kind of presented it live. 
uh, because you know uh, they are answering questions, and that's always a uh, uh, important um, in, uh, important piece to evaluating projects. So uh, we have a couple that just have videos, and so but you know it, I think it's it's still good to uh, get some exposure, um, uh, you know, because of certain circumstances that they weren't able to present today. So um, I think that's pretty much it. And uh, the only one is uh, left after two videos is um, open source storage, OSS, Alex Davis. I'm not sure if you're you're here. If you are, just, uh, just kind of say something in the chat window. Oh, OK. So Alex is here. So let's let's do that first. Uh, and uh, OK, and Mark has a poll. Um, and uh, so feel free to answer the poll. That is a great question. I think this is a fantastic question. So everybody should take a look at the poll right now and make their best uh, choice of what you think is the most important for startup success. I think it's a great poll. So is it funding? Is it the business model? Is it the idea? Is it the team? Is it the timing? Um, and uh, just make your choice. I think I, I think I know. Uh, you know, there's probably no wrong answer, but there is data that uh, someone has researched, and uh, and it and it it, it, it can uh, support one of these out of uh, one of these answers. So, um, anyways, so check out the poll. And uh, Alex, yeah, it's fine if you don't have your video, but can you do screen sharing? Uh, yes, let me uh, set that up. Okay. Screen share. Can you see the screen share? Um, we uh, not right now, but if you hover over your video capture, like hover over um, where <laughs> your your picture will be, like your face would be, there should be something that pops up a screen share icon. So if you just hover, just yeah, in front of your. Okay. I I see what happened. Um, I'm in uh, incognito mode and screen share doesn't work for that oh, okay um is there any way you can do it without incognito mode and if so um i mean the other option is if you just want to talk for three minutes you can do I, that i could talk uh, really quick and then uh i'll put the stuff on the github so okay sure uh, so uh just let me know and then i'll, I'll go ahead and uh, uh i'll start the timer okay okay so uh, sorry about the black screen, but if I cancel this, it's gonna kill the whole web browser uh, to bring back in without incognito mode. Uh, so the project I'm working on is to bring storage uh, as a side chain to uh, EOS. And um, for the last hackathon, we were able to create a side chain and have that pull in as a catalog onto the EOS um, main net, uh, I mean, test net. And, um, and we use a single EOS wallet to, uh, to hold the account for all of the, uh, the contracts uh, on the side chain. And um, when we work on this, um, we had a issue with mobile platform in that um, IPFS doesn't work on it. So uh, we we did the sell and buy a portion using just EOS contract. And um, recently I was able to got, uh, get some traction on the mobile platform using um, experimental um, Orbit a DB and um, and Chakra as a 
Node.js engine. And my hope is that once we get the mobile uh, platform working, then we would like to publish this as a storage backend for uh, um, basically mobile uh, asset or mobile content. Um, and one of the reasons for doing this is that there are a lot of places that it is hard to have um, cloud or, or online storage uh, other than going into the main chain. And um, our idea was to bring the storage on the side chain. Um, and so far, that's that's our product. And we're looking to launch by the pretty much end of this month in um, in China, actually. And uh, the reason for that is to bring American advertiser into China and to um, try to sell American product in China. Uh, so, so that's pretty much where we're at. And we're trying to use EOS because from our investigation, it looked like there's a lot, a big crowd following um, for EOS. And um, every single user who run the US would be running our side chain in addition to US chain. And they would be the one who provide a storage for everyone. Uh, so that's pretty much about it. So okay. uh, 15 seconds or uh, 10 seconds. So, so I would um, put up the link to the GitHub because all my documentation and work are on there. And recently, uh, all my members just uh, disappear. So I'm pretty much working on my own right now. And all right. I, um, Alex, sounds sounds good. Uh, so um, yeah, we'll bring in the, the rest of the judges here and uh, we'll, we'll be able to ask some questions. So, um, so really appreciate you presenting here today. Uh, so I'm gonna invite uh, Trey and uh let me see who was uh also is brandon still there okay brandon okay so um all right okay i get i can start with a question now let me know when you're ready to start <laughs> oh so um we'll we'll uh, wait till brandon gets a uh, uh, set up here and then we'll um okay so when you guys start, I'm going to go ahead and click. OK, yes. OK, um, I'll go ahead and go. <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> uh, so yeah, interesting project. Can, can you uh, tell me just a few minutes like or just a few seconds like what, what is it run? What is on the local device? Did you say that you were trying to run like a local node? Um, yes. Uh, of IPFS or something on the local on the phone? Uh, yes. So. Um, the, the storage is from the user who running the local uh, EOS blockchain on their laptop or desktop. In addition to that, they're going to run a, uh, a side chain that hold the catalog to the storage. And on the mobile device, uh, we use IPF as one of the solution to pull in the uh, storage from the local desktop and also to send data back to the local desktop for persistent and um, our hope is that if, if there's a, let's say in the case of China, there's a lot of user that are running EOS on their platform. And we were hoping to have our side chain on there and be able to offer a uh, storage using the side chain. Is the storage purchased or from staked EOS? Uh, the the storage would be purchased, and uh, and it would be uh, purchased from the user or the seller who who are uh, running the side chain on the laptop. So IPFS is used to transfer data between endpoints. Uh, so if I'm a seller and I want to sell storage, I would run the EOS chain. And I would run a side chain that uh, pretty much offer the storage via IPFS. Okay, and then we have uh, one from Blocksmith. Oh, do you have another one, uh, Trey? 
Uh, no, I, I was going to ask something some, something similar to what uh, Justin was going to ask, so I can I can read it. If, uh, happy to. <laughs> um, so Justin was asking, um, is this an IPFS side chain, um, and there can only be twenty one active nodes or unlimited? Like, have you thought about like when you say a side chain, is it your side chain that other people would run nodes, uh, no, or a chain that you would manage that other people would run nodes on, or it's a side chain in JavaScript that whole uh, catalog uh, uh, contracts for the storage device. And uh, we don't have the problem with 21 active uh, IPFS node because we're doing a point-to-point -point IPFS. So the user at the local point would also be running a hub. And so in order for you to work on your mobile device, you have to run a local node or you could talk to another node that you know somebody's running? Uh, either case, the, the minimum case without knowing anyone is I would have to run an IPFS node on my uh, on my storage device. All right. So um, yeah, if you uh, you know, feel free to answer, uh, ask any uh, remaining questions kind of on the on the side. But uh, no, thanks, uh, Alex, for presenting. Thanks, Trey and Brandon for uh, kind of uh, asking questions as a judge here. So uh, I think that's pretty much it for our our. Um, uh, <laughs> I see the poll answers there. Sorry, I was just taking a peek there. But uh, I think uh, I have a couple videos for the last two teams here, and they just sent it to me. So uh, you could hang on tight. Maybe if you guys, uh, if you guys want to remain on here, I think uh, I might be able to just share a screen here. Hey, thanks a lot, Alex. I'll, I'll kind of uh, move you guys. So, um, so I'm going to share my screen, and um, but uh, you know, you guys can. I'll. I'll, I'll uh, uh, is there any last words you guys, you guys want to say, Trey or? Brandon here. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot for, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot for uh, kind of participating here. And uh, yeah, really uh, look forward to many more. So uh, thanks. And uh, we'll, we'll do the last couple video pitches and then uh, you guys can watch from the audience and we'll go from there. So just, uh, we're oh, almost there. We got uh, two more. So cool. See you in the audience. All right. Sounds Great. good. So I'm going to screen share here uh, and let me make sure that, um, uh, let me sh make sure. So we've got, um, this one is, oh, okay. So this, uh, let me see. So, hey. So, um, so maybe, uh, okay, so I have one other one. I think the video for some reason, unfortunately, is not working. So um, let me see the last one. Uh, so, okay. So this is from the last team and i'm going to just screen share it's actually very short it's only a minute but this is the fake news mint and uh you know they finally got an api to, uh, uh api built to write smart contracts for fake news on eos blockchain and so i'm going to just show a video of uh, their their demo so uh, again this is fake news mint um and i will share my screen here hopefully i can get uh, uh okay so i'm gonna share my uh, uh okay there it goes so i don't know if there's any sound but um oh sorry about that so i'm gonna just uh so let me share my screen again sorry about that so this is uh okay so i'm gonna just play this and see 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 what you guys uh, uh <laughs> just share this with you guys so let me go right now
All right, did you guys see that okay? Uh, I should have made sure, but did you guys see that? Uh, there was no sound, but um, but yeah, they were all visuals. Uh, so, okay, great, so you guys saw it. Uh, I think um, that was, again, Fake News Mint, uh, or let me make sure I have the name right. Uh, it's uh, Fake News Mint, yeah. So uh, that's, uh... <laughs> yeah, it was actually cool. Okay, thanks, we can use that now. So, uh, okay, so I, I think that was it. Unfortunately, we had, um, you know, I, I, I liked um, Team uh, Wolfpack, but unfortunately they had bad internet, so they were trying to send me a video. And let me see. Uh, uh, let me double check to make sure that's not working. Uh, it just says it's uh, unavailable. Uh, uh, it says unavailable. So... Unfortunately, you know, that's okay. We'll have them pitch next time. Um, and uh, I think that's it. So I uh, really appreciate everybody who attended, uh, who's uh, participating and watching all the judges, mentors all throughout. Uh, this has been a really fun weekend. Uh, you guys all did the hard work, all the mentors, all the judges, and all the uh, participants especially uh, really appreciate it. So uh, we'll come back in, let's say, about 15 minutes, and we'll announce the winners of this. And um, <laughs> Brandon just asked, you know, what did they improve in this hackathon? And I was hoping to ask that question to everybody. So maybe if you guys take the time, we'll probably put that in the chat window. If you guys can just maybe, uh, if you didn't mention it in your presentation, uh, just explain what you were able to accomplish. One significant thing, improvement you made during this weekend, if you have an existing project, and just if you have a new project, you know, what uh, one uh, blockchain smart contract that you've implemented that was significant. So, um, so uh, yeah, please do that. Feel free to put that in the Telegram chat window as we kind of collaborate for the last 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll announce the winners soon after that. Uh, so, uh, so see you guys soon. Uh, we'll probably, I'll check in with the judges here. So if you guys are judges, let's get on a zoom call real quick, just to make sure everything is, uh, in order. And, uh, and then we'll kind of announce uh, the winners. So, uh, really appreciate it. See you guys in a little bit and then come back on uh, crowd class. We'll, we'll update you guys on telegram about, uh, when the announcements are going to be. So, um, all right. Sounds good. Take care guys.